Right, this is sad. Sitting on the front porch. In front of my mobile home. Living down expectations. Remember the 47%? Yes, it is. And uh, uh, before, uh, I have something to tell you about it. Look at this little clip. You know, while I was trying to get this video going. Uh, things just weren't going right. Look at this. This is kind of fun. Hey, Stead here. Living down to expectations. You know what I mean? Remember the 47% sex? Well, look at that shit right there. Can you believe that? Dang, yellow jacket. <laughs> yeah. I've, uh. All right. God damn, bug won't leave me alone. What do I smell good or something? Oops. <laughs> yeah, yellow jacket landed on my glasses. It did. <laughs> yeah, it kind of got me confused. I, I, I saw an article in the uh, on the KTRA TV news website this morning about the uh, protesters, the pipeline protesters, you know. And uh, they've, they've arrived in Nacogdoches County, which is just up to the north here. And they're climbing up in some trees there to try to stop the pipeline. You know, the Trans-Canada pipeline bullshit in it. And the pipeline, as I've said before, it's it's, you know, about 20 miles or less, you know, west of here where it's going to go by my house. So, you know, we could be affected if it fucked up. But uh, I feel for those folks. I really do. And uh, and I was reminded again of something uh, that is uh, important that as much as, as I care about their mission, I disagree with uh, their tactics. Because uh, all they're doing is pissing people off and delaying the inevitable. It, it's sad. But they're not going to stop that pipeline. There's too much money tied into it. Sheriffs will cut the trees down before they'll stop that pipeline. You just wait and see. It's going to get ugly if they don't give up. And, and that's the problem. See, uh, th there's lots of causes in this world that, that are worthy of. Uh, even, you know, back to last year, the Occupy movement and, and uh, the non-existent anti-war movement. And the problem is tactics. The problem is the way uh, these groups are going about trying to stop things and change things. Because, I don't know, it just uh, you know, it just seems like old Ted sitting on the front porch has more smarts uh, than some of these tree sitters, you know. Because they're wanting to go back. Uh, to do things that, that might have worked 15, 20, 30 years ago. Ain't gonna work today. Why not? Because the news, number one, is not covering what they're doing to any great extent. And number two, when they do, they cover it in a negative light and, and make the tree sitters look stupid. Uh, because, you know, the old thing that everybody says and, and everybody knows, the national media is owned by those big guys up there in Wall Street, etc., etc. And so you're not going to get on the damn news. You're not going to make the splash you want to, and you're not going to stop that pipeline by sitting in a tree. You're just going to delay it, you know, and waste your time. Listen, people, I'm telling you what to do. If, if, you, if you poke your ears up, you know, uh... You have to learn the right way to do things. You see, people like Alex Jones and, and, and even worse, David Icke. Oh my gosh, if you don't know who that guy is. Whew. I mean, they get these really weird conspiracy theory uh, ideas and they mix them up with stuff that is true and, and they turn the whole thing into a conspiracy theory and the news just goes wacky making fun of them. You know, I did that yesterday. I do. I, I make fun of old Alex quite a bit because you know sitting on your ass in front of a tv uh camera or uh you know a webcam and uh all this stuff's not going to do any good it's not and uh pot calling the kettle black i guess uh, but the reality is if you're going to do something you got to get your ass out there on the street because people are not getting the truth they're not getting the truth from anywhere 
They're not getting the truth from the media. They're not getting the truth from the newspaper. They're not getting the truth from anywhere. The crap that they're getting on television is watered-down bullshit, if anything at all. Of course, it, you know everybody knows Fox News is F-A-U-X, right? It's stupid bullshit lies, right? And, and uh, all the other networks, some of them are better the others than others, but they still don't cover this stuff. They're not going to because they're told not to, and they're never going to give it a good spin. And uh, and there's there's no way to find uh, a, a link between a message and the people on the street uh, via any kind of media. You can forget it. Forget the internet. Forget alternative websites. Uh, because only those who are uh, already, you know, in the sanctuary are seeing those websites. You know, we people who already know about what's going on, we keep keep up with it. But the man on the street don't. Here's what you're going to have to do, people. And you need to fucking listen to me. Get out of your damn trees. Get off your websites. Get off your butt. Put your shoes on. Go get yourself a copy machine. Sit down with some people that can write worth a damn. And start printing broadsides. You know what broadside is? Back in the old days, the newspapers... You know, they would come out with the morning paper uh, or the afternoon paper sometime. And and then there would be this big, big story that come out after the paper went uh, to press and hit the streets. Well, they would come out with a broadside, a, a single page, you know, front and back with just that story and a little bit of advertising to pay for it. They would. And they'd go out and distribute that as they did the paper. And that's the only damn way you're going to get the news out. You know, if you get a group, you know, get a group, you give me a call, you send me an email, and uh, if you're going to get out there and do some of this stuff, I'll be glad to help you. I mean, I, I'm sitting on my front porch because I can't do a hell of a lot, but I can help. You know, if you want to, I, I support you guys who want to stop the pipeline. I support you guys in Occupy Movement. I do. I care about what you're doing, and you're so fucking up because people are not getting the news. My generation, especially, all they're doing is watching the afternoon news, the evening news, if they're doing that. And they're getting nothing. The, you know, local folks, they get this piece of shit Lufkin newspaper, don't have a damn thing in it. Nothing worth a damn. So, they're not getting the news. You got to take it to them. And what you got to do is you got to take them truth. T-R-U-T-H, a five-letter word. Truth, nothing else. You got to put facts in there. Absolute verifiable facts with your documentation so that anybody sees that broadside, they can verify it. They can call you stupid all you want to. They can call you nuts. They can call you whatever they want to call you. But if you have the facts and only the facts, no opinion, then there's nothing they can do to counter it. There's nothing the big guys can do to counter it except take you off the street somehow. See, if all those kids in the Occupy movement, instead of gathering around talking on their damn iPads and going rah, rah, had been walking through that city handing out broadsides, putting them in people's hands, how much difference would that have made? If you got a thousand people on the street doing rally and all they're doing is going, yeah, yeah, somebody standing on a podium. Or you got a thousand people walking through the streets with a stack of broadsides, a stack of important information, single page papers, handing them out and saying, listen, I understand you probably don't believe me, but you probably don't believe me. But, you know, this is something you need to, uh, to, to listen to. You don't go up to them and you tell them this. You people are stupid. You're right wing idiots. No, 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 no. Don't do that. You take this to them. You hand it to them. And you, you look them in the eye and say, this is important. Read it. Okay, I know it's a scary-ass thing to do. I did shit like that when I was a religious person, you know. Handing out tracts, talking to people about God. You know, it, it's scary. It's really scary. But you have to do it. You have to have the courage. And if you got the guts to climb into a goddamn tree and sit there while sheriffs are down on the ground wanting to drag you out of there, you ought to have the nerve... To go out on the street corner 
and hand out papers and talk to people in person. You're not going to do it any other way. It's never going to happen. People are afraid, they're uninformed, and they think you're full of shit. And if you don't prove that you're not full of shit by doing exactly this and nothing else, the only damn thing that's going to work, then you're screwed. You may as well bend over and kiss your ass goodbye. That's right. That's why I think about that. Okay.